Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. You can modify the reports that are provided with Peachtree to create your own custom version of the reports. To modify a selected report, just choose the report that you would like to use as the basis for your custom report within the Select a Report or Form window. Then click the Options or Design button, as it was called in 2003 through 2007, in order to bring up the Reports Modification window. Now in Peachtree 2003 through 2007, this window consisted of three tabs, Filters, Fields, and Fonts. In Peachtree 2008 and 2009, these same options are simply shown within a single window. Now in Peachtree 2003 through 2007, on the Filters tab, you would see the filters that are in place for the report. These are now shown by default within the initially displayed screen in Peachtree 2008 through 2009. So here you can change the criteria used to filter the report data. The available options will change based on what data is used within the report. Now in Peachtree 2003 through 2007, if you click the Fields tab, you'll see a listing of the fields that are displayed within the report. You can click the Columns button that appears within the Modify Report window in Peachtree 2008 through 2009 to display this same window, although it's called the Columns tab in Peachtree 2008 through 2009. However, in all versions, you can simply check the Show checkbox for the columns or fields that you want to show within the report. Also, you can change the order in which the columns appear by simply selecting a particular column and then clicking the Move Up or Move Down buttons. And that's the order in which they will appear from left to right. Now in Peachtree 2003 through 2007, if you click to the Fonts tab, you can click the A button that appears for any available font style listed in order to bring up the Font dialog box. Here you can display the same window in 2008 through 2009 by clicking the Fonts tab and then clicking the little A at the end of, say, the company name in order to open up the Font dialog box. You can then change the font that would be used within the report to display that particular section or type, such as the name, the title, filter settings, the field data, the report data, you can also change the label of the report as well, and the subheading, the title too. Once again, when you're done, you just click OK to set them. That'll show you the layout for the report. Here you can click and drag the blue double-pointed arrows between the column names to change the displayed column width. Now once you've adjusted the width of your columns, just click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of this window to open the Save As dialog box. Now you have to give your report a new name. You're not allowed to overwrite any of the particular reports that come by default. And then just click the Save button again to save it. When you close the report, you'll notice that in the future it will appear at the bottom of the report list or at the top of the report list with either a blue wrench next to it or a red arrow. And that just depends on the version of Peachtree that you're using. And that indicates your custom reports versus the reports that just come by default with Peachtree. Note that you can delete your own custom reports, whereas you cannot delete any of the preset reports that are in Peachtree by default. Like what you see? 
pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com/free.